You could say that uh, Vortex, aka Four Kids, no longer should have Kai on there because Nicktoons owns the rights. No, no one owns the rights. No one owns the broadcasting rights to Kai. It's a, it's a, fr it's a free right. Uh, how? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's call money. Well, Funimation and Tohei have the rights to it, and they can give the rights to Toonami for it. It just costs money. You just need to buy the rights to air it. Yeah. Like, and if you wanted to make a, uh, another Dragon Ball Volusion, or I mean, another Dragon Ball live-action movie, you'd have to get the rights to uh, from Toriyama himself or whatever company that owns Dragon Ball, all the Dragon Ball franchise. Yeah. You to make a live-action movie. But when I did my... Uh... Well, when, well, when oh, I did, it, well, okay, I'll bring this up one for you quick thing up. When I did my rant on um, Toonami, someone decided to do a commentary on my video I did, basically calling me a Toonami fanboy. Yeah. I, how can you be a Toonami fanboy when you're not even liking Toonami to begin with? Because I was bitching, moaning, saying they're not putting these good animes on and stuff. And he's like, "Why the fuck should they have to put these good these animes on? Why should they have to listen to you?" Uh, Number one, because you're the one. You're the one that's putting your time and effort into watching their programs. There, you, you're the one that's supposed to be entertained, and not them. It's their job to entertain you, not the other way around. Doi. Yeah. Well, I'll send you a link to this guy's video he did on me. It's fucking hilarious. Send it to me. All right. Here's the thing, though. I hate it when people say that. Oh, it's they don't have to do this, and that will actually. Bullshit! They have to because that's what if that if that's what their that's what their watchers want. Then give them what they want. Give them what it what they want. Don't give them bullshit reasons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add something to this. Like uh, with uh, Toonami right now, like I said, it's you know sucks. here's the thing though. Their Naruto uncut is just the, what it's just the censored version of Naruto. That was on Cartoon Network, actually. And when someone made a comment to Jason DeMarco on that on Twitter, Jason DeMarco blocked the guy. What a douche. Uh, I would do a rant on Toonami. I just don't give a shit, because I haven't watched Toonami in like a decade. There's other ways to watch Toonami. I haven't, I haven't watched Toonami in like a really long time. I, mean, I can't remember the last time I... Uh, I watched it. Yeah. So I guess we, uh, I guess I can still talk about Nostalgia Critic? Yeah, we were still talking about that, I think. Were we? I don't know. Uh, yeah. when, when I said, like, I, I mean, I don't hate Nostalgia Critic, it's just there's, like, a couple of videos I disagree with. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is, is either good or just plain hilarious. Like, I mean, the one that actually made me on the floor and, and made me uh, laugh till I was crying was part of his Star Trek Generations review. Like, when he was doing the Fel a Ferris Bueller reference, I laughed so hard at that because it was so funny what he was trying to pull off. Yeah, I think one of my favorite ones is um, is the Batman and Robin one. Just the just cause the whole classic moment where he's like, a bad credit card. They gave him a oh, bad credit card. You no, does not compute. Does not compute. Even like at conventions, like when Doug was at conventions and like people are talking, they're like, "Oh hey, yeah, we have a present for you." And he's like, "Bad credit card." And he starts like chasing the person. <laughs> no. My favorite. <laughs> Wait, my childhood, will ya? My favorite nostalgia critic episode: The Room. Oh my gosh! I did not hit. I did not hit her. That's bullshit. I did not. Oh hi, Mark. Wow, that is the worst acting I've ever seen. Oh, how's your sex life? What? That's a line from the movie. Like, what's his name? Time was so says that in the movie. He's like, ah, oh, that's a funny story, Mark. So how's your sex life? He just like spits out his. Okay, okay, okay. Here's one joke from that. It's like. Like uh, he was like uh, he was like laughing at the like the, like like uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Mark was telling uh, 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 that Tommy was so was like yeah they they beat her up and sent her to a hospital. He was laughing like ha ha ha. I was like oh, that's not funny. It's like Mark. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I love that joke. <sighs> 
In just the room, the movie itself is is funny itself just because of how bad it is. It's just comedy gold. That's why I call it like a pure comedy gold. If there's like a comedy out there I can watch over and over again, I can laugh. It's the room. It's pure comedic gold. Yeah. Well, another funny part is that where, let's say, Ty Wiseau goes into the flower shop and uh, he's like, uh, the lady's like, oh, hello, Johnny. Here's your order. That's me. You're my favorite customer. Oh, hello, doggy. Bye. <laughs> was like, he was like, what was the, it was like, oh, that's me. Like, oh, is that a catchphrase of the day? It's just like, it's, you know, uh, okay. Oh, t tell me this is not funny, but uh, did you guys see his commando review? Yeah, I saw that. I need to rewatch that. Was that. Hilarious. He was making fun of the guy who looked like a funny face. Like, he's like, I'm gonna catch you. He's like, what is he? How he It's just, um, his Schwarzenegger month was his best month because he made fun of like his good movies, like were it so bad it's so good, or like a pure uh, awesomeness like Commando, or he was making fun of very lame, terrible, lackluster movies like End of Days. Or is like it was funny. I love that. I love the Schwarzenegger month. I want I I want him to do a review for the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> that I will be coming. He, I hope. I think he said. I think like uh, was it? He did a video where he did like top twenty nostalgia critics he'd ever do. I think like number one was Episode One. He, the reason why he said he wouldn't do it is because he says there's nothing really he could add to it. That's true. And uh. Um, I, I would say like the the best people to re like the be like the best. I mean that that's already been said before. Like there's two people uh, that are well known. They have done the Star Wars prequel views. There it's Confused Matthew and Red Letter Media. Yep, perfect. Those guys are great to watch. Star Wars Episode Two is the worst movie created by man. Star Wars Episode One is the most disappointing thing since my son. <laughs> Or the, or and the moments... like, uh, what was it? It's like, like, Anakin, our supposed hero and protagonist, is an asshole. I mean, he doesn't treat anyone right. I mean, I mean, he says something like that, but I forgot what he says. It's just, they're both great reviews. One is still, one is, uh, cam footage and extensive and, like, 90 minutes long. I love both reviews. I think, I love, um, Confused Math, I love this Clone Wars review when Anakin goes, tells, uh, his, uh, what's his apprentice? I, so you good. was... Yeah, soon you'll learn some respect. And Matthews is like, Matthews is annoyed. Shows all the clips of Anakin do bitching people out, being a disrespectful it's not little fair, shit. Padme. I don't get Rick as the Jedi. Boo! I'm too emo. <laughs> respect my ass. This little shit is the most disrespectful motherfucker. And then like, like the thing he shows a clip to where like he was all being like very, uh, very. Uh, being like supposed leader like okay this is not Anakin this guy you know I can't even call him a character we're gonna call him Wood Stump he's Wood Stump and that's a uh, uh, Sudoku it's funny and who was the other guy uh, Red Letter Media is yeah Red Letter Media that was a guy the, I, I, I don't know what review that was from from one of the Star Wars prequels but uh, I laughed my ass off on, on two moments the first moment was uh when he's going through his house and he, he goes down to the basement and he's like, oh, look at all these Star Wars toys here. You know, let me look That's for one of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's a lady off in the distance who's, who's chained up. She comes to him and goes, mister, please let me go. I won't tell anyone what you did to me. And he goes, shut up, lady. I'm doing a review. <laughs> and the, the, the other moment was right at the end of the review where you, you hear a knock on the door why am I hearing my voice? me too okay yeah it sounds uh, better um, there was one <laughs> anyway there was one moment in the uh, media review where like uh, she was saying like suppose like that's what uh, she said jokes but like because uh, I think it was his, uh, the two girls were like that's what he's like no only guys say that and there was like one, I don't know if you noticed this, but there was like a little gag where, like, remember that scene in uh, episode three where, like, he was uh, sitting with uh, Chancellor Palable or Palpatine, and there was that little uh, special effects scene that looked like egg and sperm thing? What? I don't know if you remember that joke you did. Well, what I was talking about before is it's, it's near the end of one of those reviews, and you hear a knock on the door. It's like, this is a place, and uh, you hear 
the guy say something, and then it, it cuts to gunfire, where he's like, he, he starts shooting back at them. Yeah, I mean, Red Letter Media knows how to analyze a movie, like, fully, video camera, I mean, all the, all, all the whole nine yards, I love it. But Red Letter Media does other stuff besides, uh, those reviews, I mean, they do, uh, Half in the Bag, which is a pretty good segment for their stuff. And Mr. Pinklet is pretty good, so I'm just saying. Pinklet, is that you say his name? Yeah. I guess, what was your lead, what, what was you got, I know Nostalgia Greg has done some pretty good episodes, but what was your, uh, I guess, like, the one that you didn't like so much? I haven't really found anything that I didn't care for is about, it's... Yeah, I mean, I can't really think of any reviews that he's done that I personally didn't like. I mean, there are a couple movies I disagree with them on, but I still enjoy the video. Like, um, have you guys seen his review for, what's it called, The Page Master? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that I saw one. that one. Yeah, you see, um, I actually used to really like that movie as, as a kid. I mean, it's really not that great of a movie, but I still have, like... I don't know how to say it's a little respect for it since I loved it as a kid, but I still thought that was a really funny review. Yeah, like uh, there's one, there's like a, there's like a thing. It's not like a review, but it's like kind of an old. What was it? it was his old versus new uh, Batman versus Dark Knight? There was one little thing he brought up was like supporting cast. Like, what supporting cast? There is not much supporting cast in there. They're all generic cardboard cutout of characters. How can you, Dark Knight wins over supporting cast. Oh yeah, you got Bob, which that's more biased than actually objective. Uh, that, hey, supporting that. cast, you know. Uh, but I just, like, in the fact that he said, uh, that the bad okay, movie was... Okay, remember his plane that needs to stop. Uh, but, uh, that wasn't me, but, uh, like, he also said that, um, Batman ha was more of a subtle of a story. I'm like, no, it's not. There's not much of a story. It's more about, hey, let's make Batman darker, but hey, let's focus on... Jack Nicholson more than anyone else. It's more, I mean, like, Dark Knight is Batman any time of the day because it has more story, it has better casting, I mean, that, I mean, I don't hate it, I just, I just disagree with mostly what he said. So. I, I do want to say this. I really hope we find another Titanic animated musical movie. <laughs> oh, oh, the rap dog okay. was funny. He just got a giant uh, bottle of a uh, of, uh, what was it, like, Corona or liquor or something. He's like, yeah. oh, okay, okay, stand at the big one, and just like it's like, okay, now we got, now we're ready to go. And the rapper like, oh, there's a rapping dog. <laughs> is that is that is Save Anime playing that? Whatever that thing is. <laughs> what was what is that? What the heck was that? That was um, Hollywood rape screaming his head off. <laughs> oh, um, for a second, I almost thought oh, yeah. that was Arnold. No, that was Eli screaming his head off. I thought it was a guy like on fire screaming from like burning paint or something like that. But I really, really hope I find a third uh, t anime Titanic musical so I can send it to the nostalgia critic. Oh, I just had the most evil laugh if I did. Actually, I think, uh, you know that Tentacles character from, like, the second one he reviewed? I think there's, like, a animated spin-off featuring that character. You can always send that to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, well, one thing I want to say, like, about his, uh, was, uh, oh, I, I guess the, uh, the one I really liked from the, uh, other type, like, um, I guess... In my opinion, like, the better review of the uh, Titanic animated musical was the other Titanic animated musical. Why? Because of the ending. He's like, so everyone lives. <laughs> what? That's insulting. Like, okay, there's a shark. Oh, wait, there's villains in this? Oh, hey, you guys, I'll be right back. All right. All right. It's hilarious. Like, did, you, did, you, did, uh, did any of you guys see the Star Trek month that he did? I saw, like, the review from the... I saw the review for the original movie, but I didn't see the rest of them. I saw all of them in there, like, uh, he, uh, like, uh, he was making fun of the fact that, like, everything was uh, in Insurrection, uh, Generations, and Final Frontier. It was, like, he was making fun of the fact that they unintentionally put music in a Star Trek film. And I was, like, and he was, like, okay, uh, this side of the internet, sing this part, and the internet, you know, row, row, row your boat. And then the other part was, like, a literal life form. 
it was like funny. It was. I mean, I like the I love the Star 